Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. Daily morning scripture came from John chapter 14 verse 6. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning to give you thanks for another day of life. And thank you for all the blessings that you have given us in this life. Lord, I thank you for every moment that you have committed unto us because we know every single moment of this life is been given for to us for a, a reason and we just pray that we, we are not um, taken out before our time, dear Lord, but that we finish the full course of this life having followed you followed after your commandments, followed after your righteousness, that we may be perfected and justified through your life in this world, so that when you do return unto us, we shall be accounted as faithful servants unto you, as we always pray, dear Lord. As I see nothing else in this life to do but to serve you, and I pray that this is our this is our, 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 our duty, dear Lord, and this is our mindset in this life, is to do your will. Anything else, therefore, anything else that is um, battling in our minds, in our hearts, in our souls, and what, whatever is battling against the knowledge of who you are, or battling against your will, dear Lord, within us, anything that is coming against these things in our lives, I just pray that you cast them away dear Lord. Cast them out and cast them away so that the only thing that can be that will be remaining is your holy spirit and the leading thereof. And I'd, and you already told us that we ought to be following your commandments and we know that your commandment is summed up in one word which is to love one another as you have taught us dear lord and i just pray that this is what we do we show forth your life your light your love in the world i pray that your knowledge of who you are and your word abide in us and i pray that your holy spirit which seals us bring the word to remembrance when we do need to draw upon it dear lord so as always, I just want to pray for each and every soul going through their individual tests and tr trials and tribulations. I just pray that you guide us and uplift us, dear Lord. Set our feet on that solid rock who you are so that we are not moved and that our faith persists and that we overcome all things through you. And I also pray that our children are grown up in the way of truth, in the knowledge of who you are. So when they are of age, they shall not depart from you. Lead us in spirit and in truth this morning in your word, to the glory of God our Heavenly Father, through you, by you, and for you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, so John chapter 14 verse 6 says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. So, we covered this chapter and verse quite a few times. But um, as I normally say, the, the, the scripture has its way of being more um, opened up unto us when when you go through different um, things in life, right? The scripture is there to, to instruct us and to help us. <clears throat> and you might read one scripture for 10 years and um, it just takes that one situation to make it more profound or pronounced in your life, right? So this chapter was Jesus just speaking to his um, disciples. Um, he was just confirming that he is that very Christ, right? The son of the living God, God with us, right? Um, and he also showed off the promise of God being in us by the Holy Spirit, right? 
within this chapter and as always i do implore you to go and um read it for yourself i like these verses just before it because it shows you that the disciples they are um well these were the apostles two of them they were they were they weren't um trying to make out that they knew everything they some things that they, they just didn't know and they asked them they, they were asked of god uh, um they asked of our lord to to explain it and this is a good thing to remember because no man knoweth everything right only the lord can reveal these things unto us and um he said ask <laughs> ask so yeah it was just um thomas there was asking where jesus was going because just before that jesus was saying well i'll go i'll go away right to prepare a place for you and you know where i'm going and thomas is like lord where are you going how, how are we gonna know where you're going and um jesus was just showing him that it was a, a deeper meaning than what the surface of the words had to 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 explain right so it was just saying that i am the way the truth and the life no one cometh to the father but by me and again this is again just showing us that jesus christ is the only way right there is no other way and as i said you can don't take my word for it go and test it out for yourself there is no other way to go to the father right but by christ and this is because christ show forth the love of god and we know that we only are children of god if we show forth his love right so how can we show forth his love if we don't know what love is right and um when you say he's the way the truth and the life the word that he has spoken unto us the commandments that he has given unto us right um this is testifies of the father right the way in which he, he, he lived the way in which he went which was to do the perfect will of our heavenly father this again testifies the father to us and the life that was given on for 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 our sake right first of all he is life right he gave gave us life in the big from the beginning and he used his natural life to to pay for our wars because we were um warranted of death because of sin as we always say but he was that atonement so when we think of all of these things in its in its like collective form we see where if we ought to go to god we ought to show forth the we have to walk in that same way which christ jesus did which is to follow the perfect will of our heavenly father the truth we ought to proclaim the truth which is his word not of ourselves but him being working in us and the truth is not just by words but indeed also showing forth that truth and the life as i always said giving ourselves over to the lord as that living sacrifice in this world so that we in turn being dead to the flesh may live by him through the spirit and in that day because we will be sealed unto that day in that day we shall be redeemed and be glorified with him and be like him as he is so yeah i'll leave it at that this morning as like i said there's quite a few other videos that um i did to that that touches on this same verse so i won't exhaust it this morning um any questions anything that you want to send in you can send them into the word at eachreachone.org or drop a comment in the comment section. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone. And God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.